All right, um, st we're still with 6.6, .6, finding rational zeros, but this is normally what I get from uh, all my students all the time. They sit there and go, uh, you gave me examples, and it was nothing like what you gave us. You know, I took the test, and it's nothing the same that you gave us. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you one where you might have some fractions, okay? Fractions that you have to plug in, and I still don't know the answer. So let's figure out here what we got. So here we go. Right here I have a 5, so it's the constant. Well, what's divisible by 5? 1 and 5. That's it. Okay. Over, um, we have a 2, which is the uh, coefficient. And the only things divisible by 2 are 1 and 2, which means it's plus or minus, and here's what I have. It's plus or minus 1 over 1 and 5 over 1. Then I also have 1 over 2 and 5 over 2. So those are what I have to look into. 1 over 1, 1 over 2, and Remember, it's plus or minus all of these. 1 over 1, and um, 5 over 1, 1 over 2, 5 over 2. So, save up some space here. I'm going to erase those, and hopefully you wrote those all down here. Um, I'm going to write down all of my um, uh, numbers out in front here. And I'm going to start once again. Let's make it simple. I'm going to start with 1. So I bring down the 2. 2 times 1 is 2. I add it. I get 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Um, I add it to get negative 9. Negative 9 times 1. Negative 9. No, that's not going to give me 0, right? That's negative 4. I want a 0 there. So let's try it again. Okay, 2, negative 1, negative 10, and 5. Let's try out negative 1 now. So I bring down the 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And I'm going to get negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3. And I'm going to get negative 7. Negative 7 times negative 1 is positive 7. 12 is my answer. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. Okay. 1 is now done. Let's move on to the next whole number and the last whole number that we have, or, or integer, I should say, because we're going to do positive and negative. So let's try plugging in positive 5. So drop it down here my 2. So 2 times 5 is 10. Add them together to get 9. 9 times 5 is 45. End up getting 35. And without me wasting my time, 35 times 5 is a big number. And big number plus 5 is not 0. So moving on to negative 5. So 2, negative 1, negative 10, 5, right? And negative 5 bring down the 2, that gives me a negative 10, add them to get negative 11, that gives me a positive 55, which I add together to get 45. When I multiply, I get a really large negative number that's big, and either way, when I add them, is not going to be 0. So guess what, kids at home? Oh, I got to plug in a fraction. I tried the whole numbers. I tried the integers. They don't work. So next up on our list was a half. So I'm going to start with as simple as I can. So let's try a half. Bring down the 2. 2 times a half is 1. I add it to get 0. 0 times a half is 0. I add them to get negative 10. Negative 10 times a half, negative 5. I add it to get 0. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so here's what I got. I have a 2x squared. There is no x and a negative 10. Okay, and I end up getting x equals positive 1 half. So when I go to subtract, this is what I end up getting, x minus a half, right? x minus a half. So there is my um, factor right there. So remember, I have 2x squared minus 10, because i got to rewrite this. 2x squared minus 10. Okay, 2x squared minus 10. And we just said I have x and a minus half. Okay. Well, obviously, as you can tell right in here, I got a 2 that I can take out of both those. So let's pull that out. So I pull out my 2, put it out in front. So all I have left is x squared minus 5. This is as factored as I can make it. This is factored as I can make it, but it looks kind of ugly. All right, whenever you got a fraction like this, all you got to do is kind of move it out to the front, just like so. And we can rewrite it so it looks a little nicer. It's a 2x minus 1 is your factor there. 
you have an x squared minus 5. That gets rid of those fractions, so we don't have to see those. So all you got to do is move whatever the base number is, but reduce it first. And 1 half is already reduced. So there is all of your factors um, for that problem. Moving on here to this one. Um, this one, the reason why I'm choosing it is um, you guys should know what they are. Uh, it's that over that. So it's 1 over 1, plus or minus that. Okay, so coefficient is 1, there is no squared, there is a negative 2, and there is a 1. I'm going to try 1. Let's see if 1 works. Bring down a 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Add it to get 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Add it to get negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Oh, look, I got 0 already. Lucky yes. So it is 1x squared plus 1x minus 1. And if x is equals 1 is my answer. I would subtract 1 on both sides to find my factor of x minus 1. Okay, so remember that x squared minus x minus 1. x squared, uh, sorry, x squared plus x. x squared plus x. x squared plus x minus 1. And I plugged in a 1, which means we said we had x minus 1 here. So i got to try to factor this. Can you think of two numbers that multiply together? to give me um, negative 1 that add to give me 1, right? Well, here's your options. That's it, negative 1 and 1, which gives you 0. So the answer is uh, no. There isn't any. Um, that's your answer. So keeping that in mind, that is then as factored as you can make it. You can't make that any more uh, factorable than it already is. And once again, this is just something to keep in mind for you here. You can double check your work to see if the factors work. That is x cubed. That is x squared. That is negative x. That's a negative x squared, right? That is a negative x. That is a positive 1. So when we add them all together, those cancel out. Those add together, and you get x cubed minus 2x plus 1, which is exactly what we have. So you can always check your factors and see if they are the right ones. So I hope that, hope, uh, I hope that answered your questions there for rational zeros. And if it didn't, um, well, I'm sorry. I guess it couldn't help you. <laughs> so, all right. Um, I hope that helped. And if not, uh, we'll talk later.